What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. This is Westworld Stuff. Episode 5. Episode Cinco. Hey, man. Uh, this is called yes. Genre. There's a specific reason for that. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> what, what, did you like this one, man? I like thought it? this one was really good. It was good, right? Yeah, I, thought, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's... it's the way that they they used Caleb under this under this drug genre, which obviously that's the title of the episode, and what was this? What's what, what were they doing during the scene to each song was really was really cool how they played that off and um, yeah, fun you know times, another another times. badass episode, the Awoken, the people are awoke. Yeah. So listen, right, r- real quick before we get into all that, we did a poll uh, this past week um, that we put out on Facebook. Yes, it's the same poll for Facebook and YouTube, and uh, the the question was, do you think uh, do you think any of Dolores' clones will turn against her? Is essentially what what we were asking, and um, you know, a majority of the votes said, yeah, probably. That's something I also agree with as well. Uh, we almost saw that. We got a little, uh, yeah, I would say Martin, he, you know, the Martin Dolores, he was, he was a little bit, he was like. He, he, he took into what Bernard was saying a yeah, little bit, but yeah. he still obviously went through with the plan. Yeah, which was to get himself kablooey. So, Kablow. Um, so, you know, let's start there, man. We had a question, right? Yes. About, about Dolores. Why don't we, why don't we get into that? Thing. Uh, the the is she a good person or the good guy or the bad guy question? Is she a good guy or a bad guy? Here's the thing. Yeah. And that's by Paul S in the Facebook. Thank you, uh, Paul. Appreciate that. Um, that's, you that's want me to go? Or you want you to go? Uh, I mean, I kind of you or have... me to go. You have a well, long answer because we... my answer is, is that I think at this point she's kind of like the good guy. What do you think? This is a tough one for me because oh. I think that when you're when you're looking at if Dolores is the good guy or bad guy or not, who else is the other person that that's Ciroc. Ciroc, right? Mm-hmm. So I think they're both technically feeling like they're the good guy. It of goes, course, yeah. It goes on whether or not you feel that like Dolores, she wants to free everybody. She wants to. She says um, it's time every everyone woke up. Okay. Right. So you want your own, and this is what the original Dempsey, Liam's father, was even fighting with them about, is about yeah, giving right. people the choice and fate and all this kind of stuff, right? So if you're on that side, which I am, so I think that Dolores is doing the right thing. And then you have Ciroc's side, which is, let's control you. Um, I'm, I want to take over the world by controlling you know, everyone else. So I think a majority of people are going to go with the the free will the yeah having right fate involved like Dolores is doing maybe a different way about about going about doing it how she did in this episode but I think she's doing good for um for the people well for you everyone know, to understand <laughs> what the what this system is all about what this computer system is all about yeah but subtle is not one of Dolores's strong no. traits <laughs> so she likes she likes not to you know rip the bandaid off so to speak. I think, mm-hmm. um, y- you know, I-, I-, I actually understood the Rehoboam a lot better. It's not the, it's he- they call him Rehoboam. And basically, yeah. if you don't, I did a little research, and Rehoboam is-, is a king, was like one of Solomon's sons. And it's like, and if you remember, they, they-, they-, they did iterations of this machine as they, yeah. over the past, like, whatever, 10 years or whatever it was. And they said... They kept naming it. So one was Solomon, one was, you know what I mean? And that's all like past kings and stuff. So Rehoboam is a king. He was a king. And that's what, yeah. so that's where they're going with that. Um, let's pop my notes back up. But yeah, so, you know, I, I mean, t- for me, it kind of clicked into place. What the hell was happening with this thing? Oh, that's right. They, you know, yeah, they, they, they they're predicting, not only are they predicting the future, but they're, they're controlling people's future because they're guiding yeah. them. In where it says they predicted, so they're giving them, sending them opportunities, and making them meet the people. Like it's all, yeah, man. I I have to agree with Dolores again. It's she, you know, it's it's not the best way, but then again, she doesn't care. She doesn't have time. She understands. What's interesting is that yeah. she's timeless. she's trying to shut everything down. Yeah, but yeah, she's, she's also is. timeless, right? So it's like yeah, she's someone that has nothing but time, but she's just doing it like get it done. I think she well she knows that there's so many people after after her them um you know uh Martin who obviously in the end uh right uh 
went through with the plan. So, yeah, no, she knows that Sorak is trying to strike hard, strike fast, um, similar to the Cobra Kai motto. Um, yeah. Strike hard, strike fast. Yeah. No mercy, sir. You um, know? You know, listen, we're, we're still talking about Dolores. We've got a, we've got a bunch of questions uh, from a few people, one being that of Nat in the group. Hi, Nat. Thanks for the questions. Yes. We're going to group them all together. One is, you know, let's do it all together. Like, so what the hell is Dolores going to do next? You know, wh- you know, what's her next move? What's her end game? That type of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, is she going to wait for humanity to see what, she, what, what humanity does next? Or she's going to wait for it to implode? Um, you know, so... I mean, I think we could kind of like put that all into one big thing. I mean, yeah. Well, do we know what her next? We don't know no. truly what her plan is. Uh, obviously, waiting for humanity to implode, or sure. you know, we don't know how they're going to react, especially after now that she released this information on everybody on the world uh, about what was really going on and the control that the system had that this uh, the Rohabam projected on people. So that's a that's a question that we'll be able to answer, I think, later on a little bit. That's well, we got specific. three episodes left, so we'll see. Yeah. But also, where, what is? So you know, she could. She's most. I mean, obviously, I think one of the next steps is she's going to go after the machine. If she can get into the building, you yeah. know, Martin. So Martin, you know, the Martin Dolores. He, you know, sacrificed himself, like we said, and you know, I just, I, I, I don't know. I, you know, I don't. You know, there could be a wrench thrown in everything like, you know, our our little poll there, you know, will, will one of the other Dolores is, you know, I think if anything, it'll be Hale. And I think it'll be the Hale version because uh, if you saw like the next coming attractions, you know, no spoilers, but I think it might have something to do with the kid like that. Like Shell Hale has a family. Well, has a kid, you know, but that, I yeah. mean, it's family. But, you know, and then has the ex-husband or whatever. And that's something Dolores never had a chance to have. And I don't know if, you know, it, well, I don't we see that. We, we see that that clone is obviously having issues in that body. And don't forget, We've right. They, seen that, don't forget. So. They have to grow into that Dolores. Like, you know what I mean? Like the copies of her have, you know, it's just, it's the different. They're different. It's, it's, it, you know, you yeah. put a, you put a, you put a sentient consciousness inside of a you know that's essentially what she did which she think that like you know the fact that she's you know if she wanted slaves and she should have just made them like um uh what's his name uh bernard you know so and and and, and that's another question we had as well right uh yeah let's so you have it. I don't even have it up. Oh, um, Bernard. Right, who else yeah. uh, is Bernard going to come across another version of Dolores? Right? Um, will he get Will he get through to them? I mean, we have seen Bernard didn't know, but he was dealing with Dolores, essentially. Right. He with knows Martin. now. Um, yeah. Uh, will he get through? Uh, will he get through to them? I mean, we we see that he tried to talk with with Martin about. Um, her, Dolores's agenda mm-hmm. and what um, what he wanted to do. Uh, what else we got? Um, oh, and why do they say he's special? Now this was right. cool because yeah. we were always having questions about like the pearls and and who's and who and this and that. Now we still don't necessarily know. I think there might be like one or, one pearl or something right left or something right, yeah, something right. like that. So we don't necessarily know who that other person may be or if she still has another pearl, but it was cool. Martin um, Martin had said I had wrote it. Let me see if I can find it quick. Uh, this is um, – uh, shit, where is it? <laughs> oh, you're the only one that, that we can't replace, Martin says. Yeah. So that was interesting because obviously that's coming from Dolores. I think I think what that is – Yeah. One reason is I think because she had – I'm trying to think. Was she the only? Is he the only one that that can make a new body? No, maybe not because she had, she made him and put his pearl yeah. in that body. He's another sentient. Like her, he has control over his actions. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why he's special. Those are the reasons I can think of. Well, I mean, maybe because of the person who he was before he became a host, and or also the special to her. Involved. Maybe special to her. Yeah, yeah, because he designed her. When he, he designed was Arnold, her, and right? yeah, and they had so much time together, both as hosts. 
Yeah. You know, so so maybe that's the reason. Maybe that's the reason why. And we see we see maybe a flip flopping in what's going to happen. Right. You yeah. know, initially, you know, Martin was taking Stubbs and 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 uh, Bernard uh, as enemies, and now we we seen in this episode that they almost well they were like let's you know come with us. They were telling Martin. And Martin obviously stayed behind and, and blew up the, the floor and those um, Ciroc's men, you yeah. know? So, um, yeah, it came to, up until this episode, we're thinking Bernard is going to be Dolores' en- enemy. When, realize, when realizing now after this that there's a plan, that Dolores knew kind of what was going to happen. And um, she even said, keep our friends safe in this. So there's yeah. definitely something special so she doesn't about want, yeah, Bernard. Right. And in the end game. Yeah, right? she she doesn't see him what the plan is. as an enemy now. She's got him. She was waiting for him. She got him. She doesn't see yeah. him as an enemy, which is really cool. And and we actually don't know how he feels about that. We didn't get to we saw he's like, Oh, she's giving it to the whole world and we didn't yeah. really see anything else. So we don't know. So we don't know. What so he's a he's a wild card. We don't know. He's a wild card. And remember, he took he took Martin's um, stopper. He took his stopper back, right? His, the, right. Yeah, his the little control, clicker. Yeah, the little control little thing back. Thing. So you know, so, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. You know, we we uh, yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, I guess that's really all the questions we kind of had. Um, you know, a couple of things I just wanted to talk about real quick. You know, I love her pet bike, and that <laughs> that motherfucker was like he just he just drove by on fire. So he woke yeah. up and just drove by. Like, is he going to go put himself out? Like, I love her. Pet. Yo, when he when she's like, stay close. I'm like, what, yeah. are you do- it's, what are you doing? Like, I love it. I love it so much. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, no, so, I enjoy that too. The tech the tech stuff in this is just so cool. Yeah. And if you watch like the behind the scenes stuff and how they, they, they control the vehicles through the streets and yep. – Yep. And just the whole behind the scenes, the whole Caleb um, rocket launcher um, footage they had after yep. after this episode and how they did that. And, that was fun, yeah. Um, yeah, the practical effects and the CGI effects in there. It's really cool. Um, I mean, this show has been really, really good. Yeah, the other thing I want to talk about real quick is the concept of what's happening with Ciroc. Uh His yeah. story was pretty cool. I mm-hmm. I enjoyed that. Vincent Cassell, I believe his name is, is the guy who plays Ciroc. Yeah. Love that guy. What a, what a fantastic choice. Very crazy how, and now we know a little bit more why Dolores chose Caleb is because Caleb is what they consider an outlier, yeah. and he's and they're the ones that can throw the wrench into this whole, uh, you know, Reobum thing, and the prediction of the future and stuff like that. So that's a problem. That that whole thing is that that's the problem. That's what they are, and he's changing people. So he's got them locked up, and he's changing. Like that's some serious shit. Like that's yeah. that that's sick, you know. And once Dolores. You know, it was so cool the whole episode. So while Caleb is tripping on this drug, which we'll talk about in a second, you know, she's looking at his past, like looking at all these memories and stuff. And he says to her later, you know, he's like, you think you know me because because you see my memories. He's like, you've seen a few memories. She's like, nah, I do, though, bro. Yeah, she really. got him by the balls, really. really. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. and and he was definitely in a vulnerable vulnerable position, yeah. uh, especially after you know in the end. Um, it was cool when they when he came to her as like a projection, as a hologram, and yeah. they were kind of circling each other and uh, cool. all that. It's just one quick thing too I wanted to talk about is what do you think of um, after Liam was shot mm-hmm. and I forgot the character's name who sh- who shot him. Uh, she oh, says, yeah. this, "See, this was my choice," and and he and she shot him. Yeah. Now, who do you think um, Liam? Who does Liam think Caleb is? Because Caleb even asked Dolores, "Like, yeah. who does he think He's I like, am?" What did you right? say? What did you say? That I'm not too sure yeah. on that. But what I do know is that he said it earlier. He said to Liam, "He's like, you know, you what send, did you see? You well before that, he's like, you basically they send the outliers to war. They're to the war. ones that they that they that they conscript into their little whatever. However, the government is now right. Whatever they do, whatever." Mm-hmm. They're the ones that they do. They send them to do their dirty work because they don't. They're to them. They're expendable. To Sarak and his cohorts, they're expendable. So yeah. I actually don't know yet. That's a mystery. I think I'm not going to try and I'm not going to try and figure it out. Yeah, no, gonna, we go crazy. Yeah, I think just... I think it's something we're going to find out. But remember, I told you there was something about him. I knew there was something about him. Yeah, yeah. I think we both said that yeah. there's something special so, about him. Right. That was one of the questions that we had last yeah. week. So anyway, um, so yeah. Listen, this was this has been a fantastic episode. Yeah. Um, that drug is really cool. I think it's um, I just I think it was it's a little really... weird. It was like it was just playing. It's not like necessarily that he was like tripping on acid to where he couldn't function. He was still able to 
you know, go through the city and and shoot the the gun. It's not like it threw really like well, his don't perception forget. off. It's don't, just like well, don't forget he's also in that. You know, most people that take that drug are not in life or death situations. They're just sitting on a couch, probably like tripping their balls. You know, just this, listening. To he's the got sound. Yeah, yeah, his he's got he's got his adrenaline's pumping. He's going. I I actually would have liked it if every every they they cut to like his point of view. So mm. like first person point of view, every so often like. When she's firing the gun, then look at that. You know, I think that, I mean, they don't really do that, but they could, yeah. they can though, because they have done first person shots. They did it with the robot and stuff. So I think it would have been cool had they done that. And then we got to see that through his eyes instead of just yeah. like the thing going gray or, you know, black and white or sepia and then, and then yeah. getting blown out for the, you know, anyway, I thought that was fun. That was a really cool really thing. Cool. Um, yep. I don't know, man. I think that's it. I think we should, you know, we should just move move forward and let's uh, let's get ready for next week. Yeah. Um. You know, we'll try and get a, another poll out there. If you guys have poll questions that you want us to put up for the group, or just put them up yourself in the group, in the Facebook group, or whatever, just do yeah, it. Cool. Do it. We'll put it up. Yeah. We'll, we'll do the same poll. We'll do it on YouTube. But yeah, that, yeah, do that. Absolutely. So yeah, just like Chris said, um, get to the. You can get to our Facebook uh, Westwell group, third person Westwell group. Yeah. If you're not involved already or a part of a part of the uh, the Westwell group, there, um, get in there. Um, we'll, we'll be putting uh, posts up. We'll put up. Uh, before the episode airs, the, you know, the, get your Q&A questions in, all this kind of stuff. We'll always put behind-the-scenes stuff in there. Um, so we really enjoy getting all that feedback from everybody in the comments in, in there. And we appreciate all the questions that we got yep. today. Yep. It's been a really great series. If you have friends that are home and just not having much to do right now with what's going on, put them onto this show. I have a few friends that have started watching this and really love it. I think for me, and I, I'm not going to... Um, uh, think what you're what you feel about this but i really think that season three is probably my favorite season so far i just think that just being in the outside world and and even though it's only been five episodes i really enjoy seeing what this tech is involved with and and just overall the show just feels a little bit different well me. i yeah i have to agree with you on that man because it's they didn't just go to the real world and be like oh there's shit going yeah. down it's it still just contained but it's packed. Yeah. But it's yeah, you know, it's it's you know, shit's shit's gone down. Like, you know, the the simple fact of 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 what the Ryobum is and what Sorak is trying to do, like that's crazy yeah. shit. So yeah, and the know, writing like and it. the acting is tremendous. Oh, it's in this it's, it's, so it's, it's a great show. So it's it's really good. Again, get, just get your friends to watch the show. It's yep. really it's really it's awesome. Tough. And if you did like this video, um, please hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends. Put the alert notifications on. It'll tell you exactly when we post this because our schedules have been a bit crazy. So yeah, sometimes trying to get them out getting early. Them out is you know. early as possible but my schedule is nuts chris's schedule is nuts so uh bear with us of course thank you again for everybody that submitted the questions and yep. uh i think that'll be it that will do it thank you see you next time